Hello my dear friends. Hope you guys are rocking. Probably, every Windows user would have come across this error. Which says, folder in use. Or sometimes it says file in use. The action cannot be completed, because it is open in another program. We mostly get this error when we try to delete, rename, or move a file or a folder. There are many videos in the internet, in which you would be asked to install a third-party software to fix this issue. But in this video we will fix it without installing any third-party software. With no further delay let's get started. As you can see I cannot delete this file. I cannot delete this folder as well. We will show how to fix these. Method 1, Close Running Programs. Our first method is simple and straightforward, mostly you might have tried it already. Close relevant programs that are currently running, maybe you can close all the running programs. And once after that try to delete the file or folder. Method 2, Resource Monitor. This method works for most of the tough cases and it worked for me too. In this method we are going to exactly find which process is locking the file or folder, and then end that process precisely. Go to run. Type resmon.exe. Tap on OK. This opens up resource monitor. Select CPU. Go to associated handles. Now exactly type or copy the name of the file or folder that you would like to delete, and paste it in this search box. And hit enter. This will list down all processes that are currently using the file or folder. Right click the process name. And choose end process. If there are more than one process, please do the same for all listed processes one by one. Click on this search button again, and confirm there are no processes listed here. Now you are all set to delete, rename, or move the folder as you wish. Method 3, Restart your PC. Just restarting your PC could unlock your files and folders. And you could complete the delete, rename, or move action without any issues. Method 4, Restart your PC in safe mode. Select Windows button. Tap on power icon. Now press and hold shift key, and tap on restart. Select troubleshoot. Choose advanced options. Select Startup Settings. Tap on Restart. Just press number 4 in your keyboard to get into safe mode. Perform the action in safe mode. Now just restart your PC as you normally do. This will take you back to normal mode. You could see the file was successfully deleted. I hope one of these four methods would definitely help you. Please give a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.